Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this reactivity video, we will learn about the probes. So these are the points that we are going to cover in this video. So first of all, we will see that what is the probes. Then we have to make a new component. Then um, we will see that how we can use these probes in the class component and how we can use these uh, components in the functional component also. All right. So first question is that what is the probes? So guys, in the React Native or React, when we just want to transfer the data from one component to the another component, then we can do it with the probes. So probes, uh, you can say that probes are the properties, right? So uh, when we just want to share the properties of one component to the another component, then we simply use the probes. So now let's uh, first of all make the new component. And after that, we will uh, understand it in the class component and the functional component also. So this is my the <coughs> uh, app.js component here. You can see that. So first of all, I am just going to make a folder like component. And here I am just going to make a file like uh, profile.js. Right. And uh, I am just going to write some code here so first of all just import react from react and after that import uh, something from react native react native if you just want you can just uh, completely copy this code otherwise you can just carry out with the pure code also view and text now, so first of all, I am just going to make a functional component. After that, we will understand the same thing in the uh, class component also. So let's make a const profile and like this. Just simply return. And in the return, I just want to take a view. And with the view, let's take a text component. And after at the last, export it export um, default profile and here you can just simply write here profile component and let's make some good size of it let's say font size is like 50 that's good and uh, now let's import this in the app.js first of all import um, profile from component and uh, profile right and simply use this profile here like this Now you can see that we got the data here. But now what I actually want to do from the app.js, I just want to pass some data on the profile.js. So um, I just want to take some data like um, data or you can take any variable that you want. And here I just want to try that like anil is it to right. And now if if I just want to get it here, then first of all, I just need to write here props in the uh, parameter. After that, you can just simply try to console it console dot one props and simply props and let's see what you actually got here. Now you can see that you got a one props here. Like data because we just pass these probes like a data from here so i can just simply use it here like just uh, dismiss it we can just simply write here like this props dot data and now you can see that we are able to get it Okay, 
so this is that how we can just get the data in the uh, functional component and let's say if I just want to get the class component then what I can do first of all I am just going to remove this code from here the parent component from we are just passing the data it can be anything like uh, it can be the class or it can be uh, functional component in the both case the data will be passing in the same way but in the uh, component where we are just getting the data it this is little bit different so now let's just using the class profile and let's extend it from react dot component and now here first of all I just need to render it in the render I just need a return in the return let's simply use the view and here we can just use the text but in the class component I don't need to pass any any props in the parameter I just simply I can use like this this dot props dot data and I can just simply get it let's make some style here like style font size can be 50 yes and we can also pass the two probes at the same way like data and uh, let's say I just want to pass one more like email anil uh, <coughs> at test.com the similar thing I can just simply get it here this dot props dot email and we can get the email also here right and we can use the same props as many as time but uh, we want um, again like this right one more thing that when you just get the props in your child component you never change uh, the props data like if I just want to change this like here like this is hello then you will see that attempt to assign to a read only properties only because these properties are all, uh, only read only we cannot change them so this is the all about the props then if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel